Hi, this is Kurt with Traverse Tool Company. Today we're going to talk about how to read dial calipers. There are three different types of calipers. You have digital, dial, and vernier. But today we're going to talk about the dial. They're my personal favorite. If I have one at a machine or somewhere, it's going to be probably a dial caliper. Again. In order to read dial calipers, the first thing we need to do is figure out what all the numbers and lines mean. So the zero is obviously zero. Then we have whole inches. You can see the one inch line here. Then we have tenths of an inch. So here's one tenth of an inch. Here's two tenths of an inch. And then we have a tenth of that or a hundredth of an inch. And that's what all these numbers are on the dial face. And then each line around that dial is a thousandth of an inch. So the way to read that is this is a whole inch, this is a tenth or a hundred thousandth of an inch. The line with the number on it is a ten thousandth or this, I'm pointing to the 80, so this is 80 thousandths of an inch. And all the lines in between, each line is one thousandth of an inch. So let's get started reading something. Here's our first example. We have the zero for whole inches. The whole inch line doesn't appear, so we know it's less than an inch. The edge of the calipers right here is where we're gonna read these numbers. And the last one we see is the seven. And we're going by the line next to the seven, not the number itself. And then over on the dial, the needle is on zero. So that means that this is 700 thousandths of an inch. Here's another example that's under an inch. We know that because it's a zero, there is no whole inch showing. Here we have the eight and the line next to the eight visible. So we know it's over 800 thousandths and the needle is past the 70 and it's five spaces past that 70. So it's 875 or 875 thousandths of an inch. Here's another example that's a little bit bigger. We can see our one, so we know it's uh, our one for the inch size. And so we know it's over an inch. Here we can see the smaller one which is a tenth of an inch or a hundred thousandths. Both is the same thing, just uh, said differently. So we know it's at least one inch, one hundred thousandths. And here it's past the 20. And it's five lines past the 20. So that's 25. So we have one inch, one hundred and twenty-five thousandths of an inch. All right, here's another one. See if you can do it yourself along with me. So here I'm pointing to the one, that's a whole inch. And what's next? Here we have the line next to the three. So it's one inch and somewhere over 300 thousandths. And the amount over the 300 thousandths is 10 plus it, it goes, the needle is three thousandths past the 10. So it's 13. So what do we have here? We have one inch, 313 thousandths. Here's another example. So we don't see the one for the whole inch. So it's less than an inch. Here's the zero, obviously. And here we see the eight and a little bit of the nine. So what do you think? Is that 900 thousandths? It's kind of hard to tell because this edge is so close to that nine. Well, here's how you can tell very easily. To, to know if it's on the left or the right side of that nine, you look at the dial and the needle is two thousandths or two lines less than the zero. So in other words, it's not quite up to the nine. The measurement that we're seeing here is zero whole inches, so it's 800 
and 98 thousandths of an inch. Here's just a little something in case you noticed these lines up on the top of the scale, these are actually in millimeters. So yeah, these calipers can read in millimeters, but you can't use the dial when you're reading millimeters. So it's just a very general, uh, unexact measurement when you're reading millimeters from an inch calipers. Yeah. Now we're actually gonna measure something. So I'm just gonna measure the jaw on my vise. And just a reminder here, as you keep pressure on the thumb wheel, just wiggle the calipers a little bit until you see that needle go to the smallest number. It goes to the smallest number when you're measuring using the outside jaws. So what do we have here as a measurement? It almost looks like it's 600 thousandths, but what do you think? That needle is just a little bit before the zero, and there it is, two thousandths less than the zero. So that's not quite 600 thousandths, it's actually 598 thousandths of an inch. I hope that by now you understand how to read dial calipers, and the more you practice with them, the better you'll be.